I'm back to now introduce the next team from Project Island Response and Intervention for Systematic Evacuation, or IRISE, a disaster risk management system that aims to bridge the information gap between local government units, disaster risk management offices, and the island communities of Tubigon Bohol. IRISE consists of a web app and a mobile app built with Flutter, Cloud Function, Cloud Firestore, and Firebase. Let's welcome the creators Gian, Jorian, Patricia, and Rex from the University of the Philippines. Said by Aling Maria, a local vendor from Ubay Island in an interview conducted by a team of student developers from the University of the Philippines. She is one of many residents of the island communities in Bohol who experience severe coastal flooding but resist fully relocating due to fear of losing identity, social capital, and livelihood. Therefore, we introduce Project iRISE, a digital disaster risk reduction management platform aiming to contribute to the UN SDGs 11 and 13. And powered by Google Technologies, iRISE banners four core functionalities and these functions are carried by three technical components of the system, our fabricated tide gauge, web application, and mobile application. Before high tides or extreme weather conditions, on the web app browser, the system automatically warns the local authorities and allows them to disseminate advisories simultaneously. The web application also features a climate change education curriculum to convince future generations to relocate. On the other hand, during extreme conditions, through the mobile app, the residents can also send rescue request notifications and the authorities can also trigger evacuation instructions with one button. Instant information cascading, quality and accurate information, and unlimited reach. These are the core target impacts of iRISE to the island communities, as it carries on the vision of a resilient Philippines, where all Filipinos are inclusive of growth and are able to adapt to the adverse effects of climate change. This is Project I Rise, and we rise to the challenge. Hi, everyone. Hi, Todd. It's good to see you all. I like your shirts. Can we? Can we take a closer look at your shirts? Matching shirts, nice. I like it. That's great. <laughs> Hi, Todd. Do you want to introduce yourself? I know you have a couple of questions for the team. Hi, I do. Um, I'm Todd Kerpelman. I am a developer relations engineer on the Firebase team. Um, and I am jealous because I do not have a matching team shirt. But uh, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, so hello, Team iRise. Thank you so much for joining us uh, today. Um, I really like this app. This app, this whole program seems like it could have a really uh, significant impact on on people's lives. I'm sort of assuming uh, flooding has become a more um, a more severe problem in in the last few years, and this seems like this could really really help people. But um, uh, why don't you tell me about it? What was sort of the story behind this project, and um, what what made you decide this was an app that needed to be made? Yeah, thank you, Todd. Um, the idea and inspiration of Project Iris came up from a research study from the University of Tokyo. Uh, the article is about the island communities of Tubigon preferring local measures to relocation in response to the flooding. Therefore, from the recommendations of the authors, our initial step was to understand the status of disaster risk reduction management here in the Philippines and put ourselves in the shoes of the island communities. Additionally, Rex here is a native of Bohol, so this project is especially close to his heart. Right, Rex? Uh, yes, Gian. It is a common pain point uh, that the Philippines in general annually experience the strongest typhoons and natural disasters. Considering climate change, our situation will not get any better. So when our team first convened, all showed the interest to confront the challenges of uh, building disaster resilience in our country. Subsequently, our team also visited the flooded islands of Tubigon and the sad plight of the residents have greatly inspired us as we build Project iRISE. Can you kindly share to everyone, Pat, our observations and findings? 
Surex. From our surveys and meetings with the local government units, we found out that there is no existing evacuation system in place. People are using inaccurate calendars to monitor tide levels, and they only use megaphones to disseminate advisories. At this point, we realize that there is an apparent need for these islands to have an early warning system like ours. And this is the purpose of Project iRise. It was highlighted under the human security pillar of the recently released Bohol Climate Emergency Response Roadmap. Additionally, iRise can be used not only in natural disasters, but also in local emergencies. So in summary, our inspiration came from previous research studies, visiting actual flooded islands and recalling our experience in natural disasters. All of this instigated our team's vision for the project, a resilient and inclusive Philippines where Filipinos across the archipelago can participate in an effective disaster risk management system. And with uh, Google Technologies, we implement the project IRS. That's that's great. Um, so you say you've been working um, with some of the local uh, governments. What what's sort of their reaction um, been, and who are you sort of looking to work with moving forward? Yes, Doug. We actually had several in-person and online meeting consultations and collaborations with various Philippine national agencies, as well as the local government unit of Tubigon and the community itself, along with academic institutions. They all have been very supportive and amazed how the youth, students in particular, take our active part for climate action. Gian, if you may add more and elaborate on our collaborations and consultations. Yeah, sure, Pat. In every aspect of our project development, we have made ourselves open for learning from experts. Apart from the local government unit that helped us in conducting our surveys, interviews, and focus group discussions with the islanders, we also reached out to the Philippine Department of Environment and Natural Resources and colleges from the University of the Philippines. They are instrumental to help us define the problem we are solving. On the other hand, NAMRIA, the Philippine National Mapping Agency, was consulted on ideating our solution. These collaborations with government institutions are necessary since the goal of our project is to transfer IRI system to them. Do you have something else, Pat? Yes, I actually do, Gian. So for the implementation in the next months, we're aiming for telecommunication companies in the country to help us get our own localized emergency number. We also have a recent collaboration with the applicants of Bohol as UNESCO Geopark, since IRIS and Bohol Geopark are complementary projects. For everyone's knowledge, Bohol Island is being moved forward to be Philippines' first UNESCO Global Geopark. So, Eric Antad, in hindsight, Project IRIS is a multi-stakeholder project aimed to be a life-saving platform. In fact, through our consultations and actual survey feedback from the islanders, we have determined the best uh, best practices that we can adapt to uh, throughout this course of project. We have learned beyond our, our expectations and we would like to acknowledge everyone who, ha who has contributed to where we are right now. A special shout out to our project advisor, Almi, and to our Google mentor also, Gonzalo. A special thanks to both of you. Thank you. That's great. Wow, thanks so much. Uh, it's, it's been really fun listening to more about your inspiration and everything that you've done, reaching out to organizations. You've already done so much. Um, so I do want to bring in the audience now. There is a, There are multiple questions, but let's pull in one from Ananya. Thank you for asking this. Um, there are unstable connections at the time of disaster. So how will someone use the app during the disaster? She wants to know. Yeah, so in hindsight, since we know that internet could become unstable at times. So during disasters, there is a text messaging system wherein the islanders could text the rescuers, the local government units, and, and also as well, the local government units can send to the islanders for notifications and announcement. As for the back end, Jay, would you like to add some more? Yeah, actually, we are utilizing the Twilio to have this uh, app running are running for as a prototype for, for the Project IRIS. So we use that uh, interconnected with our Project IRIS via REST API. So whenever someone texted uh, to our localized number, the Twilio account will post, uh, 
let's say, connect, uh, contact our project, and then our system will uh, process this, those data and disseminate all those informations to LGUs and other uh, uh, authorized parties. Right. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Well, that's great. And yeah. Todd, did you have any final kind of feedback or thoughts? Um, I mean, this seems like, you know, a, in some ways, I'm I'm sad that an app like this has to exist, but I'm really glad it does and that people are working on a solution like this. Um, and uh, so I say good luck in um, sort of expanding this out to uh, the rest of uh, the community. And uh, I uh, hope at one point to get a T-shirt. Just kidding. Just <laughs> kidding. Too. It's okay. Uh, thank you very much for, for uh, coming on today. And uh, I appreciate all the work you've done. Great work. Thank you so much. It was great. great. Meeting with all of you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.